Hello everyone, as you can see here, this is the Lenovo gaming PC. It was quite popular and famous around 2016 and 17. This is the IdeaPad Y700 model. Recently, the Windows is giving me a lot of headache. So now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to reinstall the system from this bootable USB drive, okay? So that's the reason why I need to get it, get into the BIOS and change the boot option. So today, I'm going to show in this video how to get into this BIOS and change the boot option from UEFI to, you know, legacy or from the USB. So let's start. So first thing is first, you must need to turn it off. That's the first thing. All right. And make sure you connect your charger because, you know, it takes a while to reinstall the Windows. It's better to have one. Okay, connect it. So now, you know, the standard, any laptop except Lenovo. Oh, to get into BIOS, you just need to press F2, F2. Sometimes escape, sometimes delete. It depends on brand. Example, Dell always F2 to get into BIOS. F12 for the boot menu. And HP F9, you know, and, and Sony sometimes F4. And ASUS sometimes Dell, Delete and F1, sometimes Escape button as well. But for Lenovo, it's completely different because what they done is they added a small pinhole. Let me bring it to the focus. If you can see here, okay, yeah. As you can see here, this is the one, small pinhole, and that is called Nobo button. If you click that one, this is going to get you into the BIOS okay and also the other additional menu so we're going to show you so how to do that first because of I want to reinstall the windows I'm going to connect it right here the machine is off don't press the power button instead of that use a kind of sharp nails or something and you're going to feel a click as you can see the light is turning on plus the Lenovo logo also in here all right so can you see that noble button menu that's the one so now from here you can get into whatever you want to do example if you want to do bio setup you can do the boot menu you can go to boot menu straight away okay so if you go to boot menu we're not going to able to see this the reason is this is uefi based example i'm going to show you let's get into the boot menu as you can see here, this is only Windows Manager and EFI PXC Notebook Network. Okay, but this one even connected, it doesn't show. The reason I'm going to show you why. Okay, hit enter. It's going to turn on again. So turn it off. Okay, you must need to change the settings. Otherwise, you would not be able to see your USB things. Okay, so turn it off again. Press it back. This time we'll go directly into the BIOS instead of the boot menu. All right, so from here we're gonna choose BIOS. And from here we need to go to configuration. Configuration, everything seems okay. All right. So now we're gonna go to security. From the security, as you can see, the secure boot, make sure make it disable. And then secure boot is disabled. Now go to boot menu. As you can see, the boot mode is EVFI. We're going to change it to legacy. Hit enter to save it. Legacy first. Also the boot priority one. Okay. And now, if you save it, then definitely we're going to able to see this USB into the boot list, okay? So let's save it by pressing F10, okay? And we're going to click again. Let's check. Sorry, the screen is quite dirty. See what happened all right so now if you go to the boot menu 
from here we can see all the available option which one was disabled before so there are two reasons why it was not able to show us all other boot options first it was in safe boot you know boot mode was safe secure boot was on and second option was the UEFI only that's the reason so now from here I can choose whatever I want to choose let's say this is the one is called Philips so I'm going to choose the Philips one which is the third one and I'm going to hit enter so right now the system will load it up from here as you can see it's flashing okay so it indicates this is reading right now we can see the Windows logo in here so as you can see the screen it shows the setup windows setup page choose whatever you want to choose for me united kingdom i'm going to hit next and click install all right so it's going to setup is going to be start up all right so i'm going to accept the terms and condition and hit next choose the custom do whatever you want to do from here windows one i'm going to format it rest of them i want to keep it as it is one second all right so i go couple of partition i don't want to delete it if you want to delete you do but make sure you back up your data first as you can see the windows partition this one i'm going to keep it so i don't want to delete it i'm just going to format it if i format then it's going to clean only this uh, partition which is that one now i'm going to hit next so i'm not going to go any more further because this is only just for the tutorial i done it you know what should be happen next it's quite simple and i hope you can resolve your issue if you want to reboot your system from the usb bootable usb and still if you do have any question regarding this uh, lenovo y700 make sure you leave it in the comment section and i hope i'll see you in the next video guys bye for now thank you